Many students initially find the idea of polynomial division and the traditional bus stop method quite difficult to get their head round. So what we're going to do now is have a look at an alternative method that's a little bit more intuitive and we're going to call this method forced factorization. So this question is asking us to find the quotient and remainder when x cubed minus 9x squared plus 7x plus 33 is divided by x plus 2. So we're going to divide that by x plus 2. Now this method is called forced factorization, where what we're going to do, we're going to try and make x plus 2 a factor of that expression. It might not be, but we're going to try and make it a factor. So let's take out x plus 2 as a factor. The first term we need to make is x cubed. To get that, we need an x squared there, so when that x times is by the x squared, we get x cubed. Brilliant, we've got that term, let's take it and move on. An unwanted consequence, however, of putting the x squared there, is now we've got positive 2x squared plus... 2x squared but actually we need minus 9x squared so what are we going to have to do to adjust this to make minus 9x squared well we're going to need to take 11x squared so having done that let's take 11x that takes away the 11x squared that we need to make 9x squared brilliant next one so minus 22x was an unwanted consequence of what we've just written there so we've got minus 22x's, but actually we need positive 7x's. So we're going to have to add on 29x's. So if we add on 29x's, so put 29 there, that means that we get the 29x's we need to add on to get the plus 7x. However, once again, an unwanted consequence of what we've just done, we've now got positive 58 Whereas actually we need positive 33. We can get that by taking away 15. So take away 15. And here's our quotient. And here's our remainder. So the quotient in this case is x squared minus 11x plus 29. And the remainder equals minus 15. However, there is a different way of writing this out. What we can do is write it using the grid instead. So we're going to do exactly the same calculations, except this time we're going to use a grid method. So rule that off. And once again, x cubed minus 9x squared plus 7x plus 33 divided by x plus 2. Let's put it in the grid. So there's x plus 2 as one of the factors. And the answer we need here on the inside is x cubed minus 9x squared plus 7x plus 33. So the answer of x cubed goes there. Got that? And what needed to go here to make the x cubed? The x squared. x times x squared is x cubed. However, that allows us to put an extra number here because we times an x squared by 2. That gives plus 2x squared. But we can see we need minus 9x squareds. So what are we going to have to do? Just like we did before, we're going to have to take away 11x squared. What would have to go there to allow this multiplication to be possible? Take 11x. Okay, so that allows us to do another sum here. Because 2 times minus 11x is minus 22x. We've got the 9x squared now that we need. We'll tick that off. But we've got now minus 22x's. Actually, we need plus 7x's. So if I put plus 29x there, that makes the adjustment that we need to get the plus 7x's. Brilliant. So what we need now is the number there that allows us to make 29x. Well, x times plus 29 is 29x. But that gives us here an extra plus 58. So on the outside, we're going to adjust for that. So we actually need plus 33. So if we take 15 on the outside... And here is our quotient. And here is our remainder. So this is exactly the same method as here. And it's actually exactly the same method as the bus stop as well. But all of these just have different layouts. All three lead to the same outcome. So it's for you to choose which one you prefer. For more resources like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to almmathsrevision.com.